Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create a bar chart using Power BI. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to create a bar chart using Power BI, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Firstly, what you're seeing in the screen is the interface of Power BI. This is the report canvas where we will be building our bar chart. Let me access the visualization pane. To the top right hand side corner, you are able to see the visualization pane. Let me go ahead and expand this. The moment I expand this, you are able to see a list of 30 plus charts that Power BI has. To create the bar chart, in the very first row, the second chart that is available is what is called a stacked column chart. Let me go ahead and click on stacked column chart. This is the first step that I need to do. From the visualization pane, I need to click on the stacked column chart. The moment I click on the stacked column chart, you are able to see the representation of the stacked column chart in the canvas to the left hand side. What is the next step? The next step would be to specify the fields for which you want to create the bar chart. To access the fields, in the right hand side top corner, there is the fields pane. Let me go ahead and expand the fields pane. Power BI displays the name of the data set that I have loaded. Sample Superstore data set, this is a file which I've already loaded into Power BI. Let me go ahead and expand this particular file. You can see some of the field names that are present in this particular data set. You have variables like discount, profit, quantity, region, row ID, sales and subcategory. I will not be using all of these variables. I will be using only two variables to create the bar chart. The first variable that I will be using is what is called as the subcategory. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me go ahead and drag and drop the variable subcategory into the canvas on the left hand side. This is the first variable. Let me do this again. Subcategory is the first field which I will be dragging and dropping into the canvas on the left hand side. Next, the variable sales will be used along the y axis. So I will drag and drop the variable sales into the box that you see on the left hand side. Let me go ahead and expand the bar chart. Your bar chart is now ready. What does this bar chart tell you? You're able to see the different subcategories in the data set, like phones, chairs, storage, so on and so forth. And in the Y axis, what Power BI does is it reports the total value of sales. If I hover the mouse over the first bar, you can see phones, when it comes to the total sales for phones, it is $3,30,007. Similarly, for chairs, it is displaying the total sales and it is also displaying the sales value for storage. So as you can see, this is how simple, how easy it is to create a bar chart using Power BI. If you want to go ahead and format this particular chart, how do you format the chart? In the first part, what we have seen is how to create a bar chart that is pretty simple. Go ahead and double click on the desired chart. All that you need to do is drag and drop the fields to the canvas on the left hand side. Your bar chart will be ready. Now, in the, next, in the next stage, what I would like to display is some of the formatting options that Power BI has. For example, you can see the x-axis values have a very small font size. It's difficult to read the values in the x-axis. How do you change the font size of the x-axis values? Now, to change the font size of the x-axis values, what you can do is you can click on this particular option, which is called as format your visual. I repeat, you can click on this particular option, which is called as format your visual. Here, there are two options. One is called as visual formatting. The second one is called as general formatting. Since I want to format the 
values in the x axis let me go ahead and expand the x axis property the moment i go ahead and click on the x axis property you see different features like font the font size color max area width i'll not be demonstrating all of these options i just want to increase the font size so from 9 i'm going to increase it to 30 you can choose a bigger number as well as you increase the number here you can see the x axis values becomes more visible let me erase this this is one of the first things that you might want to do as far as the x axis is concerned similarly you can go ahead and format the x uh, you can go ahead and format the y axis as well you can remove the grid lines there's another interesting option which is called as zoom slider right now it is in the off mode i can turn this on the moment i turn this on what do you see you see next to the y axis there is a zoom slider currently the sales the minimum value of sales is zero and the maximum value is three lakh fifty thousand and there are many tiny bars that you're seeing to the extreme right side for example if you look at the sales of fasteners or labels or envelopes the value of sales is very very less what you can do is you can go ahead and choose the minimum value all that you need to do is change the minimum value here by moving the slider to the top you are able to change the minimum value right now the bar chart displays all those bars which have a sales value of 50 or greater than 50. now this is entirely under your control you can give any minimum value you can or if you change your mind you can come back and specify the original value here so this is how a zoom slider helps us the next important point which i'd like to cover is though we have bars let's say you want to check what is the value of sales for binders it becomes a bit difficult because the data label value is not on top of the bar now the question is how do you display the data label value on top of the bar there, there's a very simple option which is called as data labels right now it is in the off mode and since it is in the off mode the values are not displayed on the bar to display the value please click on the on option the moment you turn on the data labels option you can see here the values are displayed corresponding to each bar now this is a lot easier for us to understand and read because all that i need to do is look at the value of the bar which is 203000 so this is the total value of sales as far as binders are concerned there is another option which is called as plot area background i'll ignore this for time being one other additional point which i'd like to draw your attention to is the title the title is left aligned the font size is very very small let us say you want to change the title here how do you change the title you can't do this in the visual formatting. What you need to do is go to the general formatting. Under the general formatting category, you have various options like properties, title, FX, header icons, tool tips, and alt text. Let me choose the option title. I'll go ahead and display all the properties that are available under the title section. The default text is sum of sales by subcategory i'll just say total sales by subcategory total sales by subcategory you can see here the moment you type this the new title gets displayed here i'm not happy with the alignment here so to change the alignment you can scroll down and you have three different styles of alignment let me choose the center alignment. You can see now the text is in the center. If you want to increase the font size, the current font size is just 14. Let me go ahead and increase the font size to 23. Now, do you want to change the background color or retain the background color that Power BI has used? Let's say for some reason, I'm not happy with the background color and I intend to change it. 
if we go ahead and give a different background color, you can see here the background color can be changed like this. The text color right now is black. Let's say I want to convert this into white. I can go ahead and choose the white color in the text color. So this is how text color allows you to change the color of the text. And similarly, you can change the color of the background as far as the title is concerned. So we have looked at how to change the color, how to display a different text, how to create a bar chart. Now, one commonly used option is the color of the bars itself. Now, for some reason, let us say I'm not happy with the existing color and I want to change the color in the bar. Now, to do that, you can click on the visual option. Once you click on the visual option, you see there is an option which is called as columns. Let me go ahead and choose the columns option. Drag this down. The default color that Power BI is using is the blue color. I'll click on the drop down menu. Here you can see a range of colors that you can use. You can choose any of these options. You can choose red or green or purple, depending upon what you think is feasible. You can go ahead and choose the color. Let me remove the expand option. Is this it? Not really. Many times what we would like to do is we would like to do some advanced analysis. Now, after getting the bar chart, let's say I want to do some advanced analysis. In case you want to do some advanced analysis, how do you do the advanced analysis? You can see here at the bottom of the bar chart, there, there are three dots. This is called as more options. You can go ahead and click on this particular option, which is called as more options. In case you want to remove the chart, you can go ahead and click on the third option from the top. I don't want to remove the chart. All that I want to do is I want to export the data from the chart, which means basically category-wise total sales, I want to export it. How do I do this? All that I need to do is choose the very first item here, which is called as export data. Let me go ahead and export it. You can see here in desktop, in desktop, I'm going to create a new file, which is a CSV file, total sales by subcategory. I can choose the option save. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the desktop. There's a new file that is created, which is called as total sales by subcategory. Let me click on this particular data set. You can see here, there's a new data set that is ready. In the first column, you have the subcategory. And in the second column, you have sum of sales. If you want to do some advanced calculation, if you want to apply conditional formatting, if you want to apply a filter here in Excel, you are free to do this. So this is how Power BI makes it so simple for us to first of all, create the bar chart, specify the properties. We have seen how to change the color. We have seen how to display the labels. We have seen how to change the description in the title. We have seen how to create a zoom slider in this video. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I thank you very much for watching this particular video. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also, like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day ahead.